Hi, this is Dr. Christopher Burton, and I'm here to help you understand the business of medicine. We're going through the 21 irrefutable laws of leadership, and today we're on number 14, the law of buy-in, which states, people buy into the leader, then the vision. When I'm coaching leaders, they often will ask me, do you think my people will buy into my vision? My response is pretty much the same every time. I ask them to answer this question first. Do your people buy into you? See, people don't follow worthy causes or big visions. They follow worthy leaders who promote their worthy causes. If you want to have your people buy into your vision or your goals, you first have to be the kind of leader they will buy into. That kind of leader has the characteristics we've already talked about in this series. They connect, they empower, they add value, and they demonstrate integrity. It doesn't work to ask people to buy into a vision of someone they can't buy into. It is a difference in perspective between leaders and followers. Leaders find first his or her dream, and then they go out and find the people to make that dream a reality. The people find the leader and then follow the dream that the leader is promoting. Think about your own experience and the causes you were excited about or really got behind. Now think about the leaders for those causes. Were they people you respected? People you trusted? Could you throw your support behind them if that wasn't the case? I know I couldn't. I've been in that situation before where I believed in a cause, in an organization. But no matter how much I wanted to be supportive and help build it up, I kept running into a problem. The leader was not the kind of person who you could trust, and not a person of integrity. Eventually, I ended up withdrawing my membership in the organization and went a different direction. If your people can't buy into you as their leader, they won't buy into your vision no matter how much they believe in it. It's happening in healthcare a lot these days. Physicians have lost faith in the leaders and organizations that are supposed to be looking out for our best interests. When medical boards and other organizations have more interest in their bottom line than in helping the physicians and patients they supposedly are looking out for, then they start to lose credibility, which leads to losing members. Losing credibility in members means that eventually those organizations will be relics that die out, unless they get the government to prop them up, but I'll avoid that particular soapbox for now. My point is that if you want to lead, it's important to really care about the people that you are buying into. People will buy into you when you buy into people. It, doesn't, it usually doesn't take long to figure out if a leader genuinely cares about his or her followers. Do they have a me outlook or a we outlook? Do they step on or over others in the name of progress, saying that the end justifies the means? Do they take all the credit for success and find ways to dump all the blame on others? I was doing a recent teaching call when a young healthcare provider started sharing his views on his office staff. Basically, his thought was that he was the talent and they just needed to get on board and do their jobs. He wondered why it was so hard to find good employees and why his people were so bad. He didn't he have made it time clear to coach or teach them. Sadly, there are probably more than a few medical doctors out there with the same ideas. What this type of leader doesn't understand is that even if he found the perfect employee, with the attitude he currently had, the employee would never fully buy into that practice, and he would never get to see their best work. His leadership style and attitude towards his people created a self-fulfilling prophecy which only seems to reinforce his belief. My approach is very different. I recommend following the principles we've learned in the 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership so far and become the kind of leader that people want to follow. Then, as we talked about in the Law of Inner Circle, find those few people who are the stars, the people you need most on your team, and give them the tools they need to grow and develop. That could be hosting a communication workshop for your front office staff or hiring a coach for your practice manager to help him or her lead more effectively. Demonstrating to your key people that you buy into them and their success will strengthen that relationship and they will buy into you and as a result, your vision much more fully. Up next, we're going to talk about the law of victory. Until then, here's to your success.